Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. Right, so Bubba's doing great. I'm getting a few um, little video clips of him to show you how he's doing. I'll do that in future, though. He had a bath last night, bless him. We're going to have a quick groom. Got to be a bit quiet, though, because everyone's still in bed. Early bird catches the worm and all that. Right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get the mouse toggle of Fire TV. But do bear in mind, if you're watching all the tutorials on my channel, do make sure to check out my channel to see if I've done an updated video because I've had a lot, a hell of a lot of, <coughs> of comments saying it's not working. It's probably because it's an older tutorial, you're getting it from a dead site or it's a dead link and you need to look at the more updated tutorials. So that's one of the things you need to look out for on my channel. Also as well, I'm going to be showing you a quick tip, because Fire TV and Fire TV Cube, you will find that you are having glitches on it and it's not clicking and not working how you want it to. So just stay tuned in the video for that and I will show you the fix that the community have found for that. The community's great, the community being obviously people commenting down below. Everybody's helping each other and I love that really, I do. So if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification icon next to it, the bell icon, that'll give you a notification every time I upload a new video. And yeah, let's crack on. Right then, so I'm going to do it as though you're a new viewer, so as if you're new to Fire Stick. So I'm using a second gen Fire Stick with Alexa. And all we're going to want to do first of all is go across to settings, make sure you go across to device, <coughs> click on developer options, and make sure your apps from unknown sources is turned on, and also make, it, make sure your ADB debugging is turned on as well. Once you've done that, you're going to go all the way back home and you're going to want to make sure you've got an app called Downloader. This is from the Amazon App Store and it is free. So we're in the search icon in the top left if you haven't already got it. Type in Down and it'll come up with Downloader beneath. Hit that and then just install from there. If it doesn't install, it's because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. Although it is a free app, they do require that. So once you've got that, I always go into my applications by going to Settings applications, manage installed applications, and then they come up in here and you'll find downloader. So we'll click on that and then launch the application. Then first of all, if you are new to downloader, on the left hand side, you want to go down to settings and make sure you enable the JavaScript. This will allow any block web pages to be able to load up. Once you've done that, go home, click on the URL, and you want to type in this URL. So get.filelinks.com. And once you've done that, you're going to hit go. And you'll find it'll not take you to no web page, it's just an automatic download, and you've got it. So go down and click install, click on done, and then delete and delete again. This will delete the file to save storage on your device, it'll not delete the APK. <coughs> just tick off, and then you'll see you've got file linked. So we'll click on that, and once it's loaded up, first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to turn the ads off. And the ad's been underneath it, which is easy to just scroll down without knowing and clicking it. So the top corner, you're going to see the settings icon. Hit that, and then you can turn off ads. And then it just turns it off altogether, you don't have to see them anymore. And then you want to click on your code. The code you're going to enter is the free tech code, so 56001333. Do bear in mind, a lot of the APKs do come from here as well, so I do recommend that you get it. And then you click continue. And then you see it loads up. That's my little message. I'm not very good with stuff like that, but I've had a go on <laughs> Right. And today as well, I'm hoping to go through all of them and update them. And also add the new APKs to it. I've really not had time lately, but I'm going to go through and make sure everything's working. If they're not, I'm going to get rid of them. And also, if there's an update for them, I'll update them. So do let me know in the comments section down below if you have found any dead links in there. So all we want to do is find mouse toggle for Fire TV inside here, click on it, and then it'll start loading, then it'll come up with a play symbol next to it. Oh, I've clicked back at the top. <laughs> so do make sure it's highlighted green again, hit that, and it'll allow you to install it. So click install, click on done, and then we'll go back, hit yes, and then we'll go to the recycle bin at the top right hand corner and delete that. The same again, you're deleting the file to save storage on your device. So we'll go back and you'll see you've got mouse solver Fire TV on your device now. 
and then we'll just launch Showboxes. That's one of the most popular APKs to use, the Mouse Toggle Fire TV APK. If it asks you to update on Showbox, I always click Remind Me Later because it's always working fine for me. And if it doesn't, I just find a new way of installing it. So do click just Remind Me Later. Double click the play button, it'll activate the Mouse Toggle Fire TV on your device. If it doesn't work, which I have found quite a few times it hasn't worked for me, go into the Mouse Toggle Fire TV APK itself, turn off the top two options, then click ADB settings, and then when it allows you, turn the top two settings back on. And this has always fixed it for me. If it doesn't work, just try that. Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go. So once again, I'll click Remind Me Later. Double click the play button to turn it on. And there you go. To scroll down the page, you click the fast forward arrow. So the right hand side, fast forward arrow on your remote. And then to go back up, it's a three line menu on your remote again. And yeah, that's it. And to turn it off, you just long hold the play button and then start clicking directions and your mouse will go off. So yeah, it is a bit of a bit of an RC app to use like, but obviously to use Showbox you do need this. And yeah, and also now I'm going to try and show you the problem a lot of people have been having with the Fire TV and the Fire TV Cube is when they're trying to click something, it's not clicking it, or it's clicking somewhere else on the screen. This is just a bug inside that device. So what you want to do, I did have a quick look, because obviously on Fire Stick it works all the time. You want to go into display. It says display and sounds. And then it says display and video resolution. And then you'll see it says 1080p 60 hertz. I think this is what the Fire TV runs. So you want to try changing that to 1080p 50 hertz. Or it might be a different option. But this is the way that the community have found is the fix for that happening. So, do make sure you have a look at that. If you do find problems, just um, obviously that, that hopefully will fix your problems. So yeah, that's about it for today. Do let me know in the comment section down below anything else you want to see. Someone recommend that I eat a red hot chilli this summer. I'm going to have to do it because obviously I said to new content about coming to my channel and anything you guys recommend I will have to do. So, I may have to get a few pints of milk and a, a chilli. I can't even eat a chicken curry from the Chinese because I feel it's that hot. <laughs> it really is. My mouth is that bad. But yeah, obviously, let me know in the comment section below if you have any problems. Even just join for a bit of banter. Just a chat down there. I enjoy it. I really do. And I enjoy watching everyone else communicate as well. Don't forget to hit that like button if this video helps you. And yeah, you're already subscribed. So I'll see you soon. Ta-da.